Hey guys, how's it going? One of the oldest conundrums in mixing is how to separate your drums to get rid of cymbal bleed and tom bleed in your snare and bass drum. This new plugin seems to have solved the problem. The amazing thing about this plugin that I just received is it's like a noise gate on steroids. It is absolutely gonna revolutionize the way people do drums. And what it really helps with is getting rid of cymbals and the cymbal bleed. In fact, Peter Gabriel did a record with no cymbals because of this issue. The program is called Silencer. Play you my snare top, just as is with nothing on it. You can hear those cymbals clearly. Now I'll add the silencer. That's amazing. You can still hear some of the ghost notes that are hit here, but the cymbals are entirely gone. So that's my snare top with the snare bottom. I'll open silencer again. And click it on. It's just a snare now. Fantastic. This is unbelievable. This is literally going to save me hours of work using noise gates. Because noise gates are spectacularly finicky. And to try and get it into a proper position is really difficult. In any case, this now seems to solve this problem. Snare bottom again. Okay, so that's with it in. And you can see, you can bring the threshold down so that more of the sounds come through, or you can bring it all the way to, this so is just the very loudest sounds will be allowed through. So to my rack and floor toms right here. I do center, left, right, and turn them on. This is just without doing anything, just turning them on. So as you can see, I'm only letting the loudest hits on the toms through because I know that Johnny is only hitting them once in a while and most of the sounds that are coming through the tom mics are the other drums and cymbals. So straight out of the box, if you just select the snare drum here, it should completely clean up everything unless your drums are particularly noisy. Have the D-bleeds, the lengths, and the reduction here, which let me just play this and so you can see what it does. So you can add length to it. Which allows more of the signal through. I'll bring that down. The reduction amount. So you can take literally everything out amazing and then the D bleed so between the D bleed and the reduction here you can really get rid of a lot of the sound just using the presets with the silencer program has been almost perfect for me. So I have been able to use more if I need to, but basically I think that you're pretty good where it says to go because you don't want to lose all of the feel of the drums and everything else. What you're trying to do is get rid of the cymbals. Everything is off and this is what it sounds like. Now I'll add the silencer. Obviously, the overheads are not on there, and I can just turn them down until they're virtually gone. We just bring them in as needed. This is absolutely fantastic. Definitely get this. If you're doing live drums, this is an absolute must for your arsenal. It's just spectacularly good. 
I've, I've never run across anything that works as well as this does. It's just fantastic. The silencer plugin by Black Salt Audio. It's on sale at the moment and hopefully will be on sale for a little while longer. It is worth every penny, will absolutely help you solve any problems you have with cymbals leaking within your drum tracks. So also, I have an Instagram where I do a song of the day every day linked to a Spotify playlist. If you guys want to come and follow that, there's something for everyone always at some point during the run. Some new stuff with the channel. You can now join the channel if you'd like. You can leave me a super thanks if you'd like. You don't have to do any of it. This is all new stuff, so this is great. Well, as you know, being an independent artist is not the easiest job in the world. In fact, someone once said the only job harder than being a musician is being a dancer. Obviously, I'm still trying to learn myself, so that's the reason why I do these videos. Because when I find something out that's great and handy, like this plugin, for instance, I have to show you guys. It's amazing what is possible to do these days. Ten years ago, you couldn't do any of this. You record your own albums at home. You couldn't be an independent artist that has no record company, no managers, no agents, nothing. Now, I know that you know me from the videos here, but in actual fact, I've been a musician the entire time and sustaining myself by doing live gigs. But at the moment, I'm trying to put myself more into a recording artist situation. I don't necessarily want to do as many live gigs as I used to do. I'll do a few here and there, only with my favorite artists around Kinsale and Ireland. Doing the original stuff is what I really love. You can go and join my channel straight from YouTube. I have a buy me a coffee thing as well, and I have a Patreon if you'd like to join it. You get all the songs that I'm releasing for free. Speaking of which, my new single, Paris Monologue, which features the great Toulousian mandolinist Daniel Portales. Please let me know what you think I should do as a special thanks for joining the channel and that sort of thing. Anything that you'd like me to do, let me know in the comments down below. My long-term goal is to set up the studio properly and that will be coming next summer, summer of 2024. We'll be moving into our new house. I'll be building the studio out there, so I'll do videos about building out the studio and what I do with treating the walls and all that sort of thing. Thanks so much. I think that's it. Next time. <laughs>